Okay, so in this video, we're going to be introduced to this method of separation of variables, a way of solving uh, first order differential equations. So the whole idea of the separation of variables method is you want to be able to get all of the variables of, well, all of one variable on one side of the equation and all of one variable on the other. Okay, that's the idea. And in order to do that, we invoke what you might feel is a little bit of a cheat um, because we effectively use the dy by dx as a fraction or what appears to be uh, a way of using it as a fraction, which might seem a little odd at first. However, um, at this stage, it is a case of here is a method that will work, that will enable us to solve this differential equation. And if you are very much interested in seeing as to why this method should work, then that's a bit of homework for you. But I won't be going through it in these videos, OK? So um, it's a bit above our pay grade at the moment. So what we do is we look at this derivative here, OK? And the dy is going to stay where it is. The top of this fraction is going to stay where it is. The denominator gets multiplied over to the other side, OK? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all the y's onto the left-hand side and all the x's onto the right-hand side. So that would involve dividing both sides by the y. The dy stays where it is. And I multiply both sides by the dx, and so it joins the x that's on, already on the right-hand side. Okay, So that's just a simple rearrangement. Now what we have here is 1 over y dy is equal to x dx. So what appears to be missing is the ability to then integrate both sides of that equation. So the rearrangement comes first, and then you can integrate both sides. So on the left-hand side, 1 over y dy, well, that just integrates to log of y. Okay? And the right-hand side integrates to 1 half x squared. Now, you might then be thinking, right, well, what about a constant of integration? Surely, I would get a constant of integration here and a constant of integration here. So I'll call it C1 and C2. However, if I add a constant of integration to both sides of the equation, these numbers aren't necessarily the same. So what I could do is I could just subtract the C1 from both sides. And C2 minus C1, well, that's just a constant. Okay, It's just a number. So there's no reason why I can't just put the constant of integration on the right-hand side and not worry about putting it on the left. Okay, So traditionally, we keep it onto the right. We put it on the right-hand side rather than the left-hand side because our usual aim is to try and get y equals. So it saves us the bother of an extra bit of rearranging. Right, then we can solve this by going to y equals. Okay, So I can e both sides, so I'll e to the half x squared plus c, okay, e to the whole of that right-hand side. Now, sometimes what we like to do is to be able to simplify this down. Um, rather than having this plus c in the index, what I could do is I could break that exponential apart. So I've actually got e to the half x squared times e to the c, because that's just how the indices will work. e to the c is just a number, OK? Just like the c2 minus c1 was just a number. e to the c, and I replaced it with c, e to the c is just a number. So I could just replace that with another letter representing a constant. So I could say that that's y equals a times e to the half x squared. And this simplifies the solution that I get. Okay, So even at this stage, we would refer to this 
as the general solution, sometimes you can't rearrange to get y equals. Okay, so that's our general solution. That is just another form of the general solution. Okay, and it's a more preferable form. You should get used to being able to simplify these constant terms down to uh, other letters to represent that constant. So this is separation of variables. It's actually quite straightforward. Um, rearrange first, get all of the y's on the left-hand side, all the x's on the right, then integrate, and then it's all about simplifying the general solution that you get.